Hey guys, Gabriel the Disciples here, and today we have reigning national champion Marcus Patel, uh, former Edison Cup champion Marcus Patel. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, so yeah, what did you play? I played Diva Hero. Um, I played it because all the cards, there's a lot of really paying one-off cards and it's like a flashy deck. I thought it would be pretty fun to play. That's fair. Um, yeah. And Edison Pharma, like, how do you feel about it? Oh, I love it. It's just like, there's so many different decks you can play and it's like so fun just to hop into. You don't really know, need to know too much about the format. The gameplay is pretty simple. You know, you, you only have a limit of actions per turn, but it's kind of nice playing multiple turns. And there's just kind of cool interactions. And yeah, it's just the choice of deck. Sometimes you're feeling aggro, sometimes you're feeling... Uh, you know, monkey with traps. Um, but yeah, that's why. Just yeah, that's fair enough. I was going to the list, I guess. Yeah, sure. Um, so like, like this is the hero setup. Um, sometimes people, I've seen a lot of people play two prodigy, but I don't think the card's really good. Like I know it trades with Caius and you can tribute set Mali, but I've got ways to search it. Um, but yeah, those were the heroes. So I've seen some people play like more Destinyers for Destiny draw, but I think it's a bit win more. It's fair. Uh, these are the cards that kind of. Search uh, the darks like uh, Mali and Prodigy. Um, yeah, Tomato's a different one. I kind of like the idea of Tomato. Like when it's good, it's really good. Like if you're tomato, if you're able to Tomato into Mali, and then get that plus with Diva. Um, but yeah, and since you're playing loads of darks, you can play Dark Arm, which is like the best card in Edison. Sure. Um, these are just more one-off good cards. Kai's just works well with the deck, especially into Prodigy and yeah, the tributes as well. With Snowman, right? Yeah, it's cool. And these are the. The water's Diva and Snowman Eater. Diva's like a big part of the deck. It's like the water access and it gives you a lot of stuff to synchro with. Yeah, there's so many synergies, right? With like Prodigy for Armory Arm and you can make like the two eight synchros with Mali. Yeah, it's like the, well, it helps with the, obviously the Armory Arm OTK, which is Diva, um, Prodigy. You bring out two Divas, Prodigy and uh, Mali, and you, um, yeah, there's you Armory Arm, Dare Guy in Colossify keep killing itself and they burn for Colossify. But yeah, the card's just sick and it's got synchros. Um, three upstarts because you want to see free to fusion and your good cards. It's so funny because like we keep seeing lists with three upstarts and uh, like the difference between like old Addison and modern Addison, right? Like yeah. how, how decks change. Like this wasn't a real deck like an old Addison, but nowadays people play it. Yeah, people don't really care too much about consistency and one of cards. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think you should play upstart in every deck in Addison. Like yeah. life points actually matter uh, with some decks. I, I like I wouldn't play it in black wins because every card's the same. That's but terrible in lights. Man. But this like it makes it makes sense in decks with have high value cards yeah. like future fusion is such a high value card it's got other like really nice one of like dark arm dragon and it have the miracles guys. miracles right? yeah it's cool. miracle fusion this card was all right but um the games where i lost is the games were i wasn't able to resolve this card and the cards were like one-off cards where it was like kaius and darks and like i was even missing a piece mm -hmm. and i think the changes i might feel like playing equal because you kind of do want to search the heroes because the deck is built around heroes and miracle fusion mm -hmm. um so i might like play like emergency call just to facilitate uh, making this more live and maybe elementary ocean and alias like a different package but it's something i've got to try out but the games which i lost were the ones where i couldn't resolve this card but when you do resolve this card it's so high value so it kind of makes sense to try and resolve it like oh, card sure. trooper was also something i considered that was a dump so guys the... yeah these are also one of what is it brain control mst heavy storm the only weird one was here was smashing ground um i didn't really want to play I think this should. I probably could have cut this for mind control. I regret not playing mind control. It was in my side. Um, mind control is like so insane. It's just so high value. Though the only reason I didn't want to play it, it was just because it made my bad hands worse. Mm -hmm. But when you can resolve it for value, it it swings the whole game. Like it honestly can. Even if you're down like two cards, like going stealing their that um, strong monster, summoning your like plague, and going into a big monster, like it now puts it just changes pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, Smashing down was just all right. But yeah, it was just a weird one of. That's fair. I played a lot of traps. <laughs> um, you you can leave glads, but glads are still like. <laughs> I don't know. Heart. I just I just like I, I like I think I was always playing these traps because yeah. they were all really good, and you kind of need the way to send Mali or like send waters or heroes if you're missing a piece. Mm -hmm. You can afford to go minus one if you're up zero, basically. Yeah. right? Like up zero is that good. And bottomless was, you, I just think the card's good in general. Like I. I, like, I just think it's a really good trap card where you can just sit back and a lot of times they commit into a really strong monster and this trades two for one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that, that was it. Oh, there's no book of me. There's no book of me. It's my favorite card in Edison, but this deck just can't play it because it doesn't do it. Like you're not setting monsters and then tacking over it. Um, but I think book of me is like one of the best cards in Edison. But the extra deck is pretty standard. Um, just four fusions. I would play a guy, I just couldn't find one. Um, these are my level four synchro, my two level fives. Um, this could have been an Android. Only reason I played this card, it, could go, it can go to 3k in some scenarios, but maybe it was a bit win more. 
um, the two broken level sixes, the one level seven black rose, and then um, these are kind of like the four level eights, which mm. are like I think are good. This card's really good into like decks which have brain control and D prism. Wing blast. Wing blast. Um, Starless is just a good card, and same with dark end and crossfire. Yeah, this dark, card, dark end's so good. Dark end, but they, back then it was a prize card, so yeah. <laughs> not everyone could play. And this one just because you can go um, diva level three and level four. Oh, okay, let's go. Cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, guys, that's it for deck profile. Any cons wait? Oh, <laughs> brother, brother, I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't know. We're not cutting. Nah, we're not cutting. We don't. Cut. We don't edit here at the side, right? Sorry, sorry bro. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm, okay. I'm tripping. So, we'll see the side there is actually a side deck. Imagine. There is a side deck. So I put in the rug. This card's probably like the best card for the mirror. I did play against Bancroft. Which is um, against the mirror. This card's also good against Monarchs. Um, it's good against Vayu. They have like Kaya decks with Armageddon Knight. This card's really good because it it negates and destroys, which is strong. Um, because a lot of cards don't do that. Yeah. You probably can't change it as well. Yeah, it's like a best tempo swing, yeah. right? Like, like it just take like their summon away and their card. Yeah. Like I said, mind control a nobleman because like um, this deck kind of struggles with Riker because Riker can trade well with it. Um, this yeah, you kind of don't want. Any Rikers in the game, that was the reason for Norman, but I think I should have this should have been in the main for sure. Um, because it, like with the synchros, you just swing the game. Fossil Dino was for dragons, like I was really scared of dragons, and it's also really good in the mirror where they attack, like you, you're destroying boards with Ab Zero. Yeah, it's it's Rikor, it's okay. right, yeah. <laughs> um, it's because I played since I played loads of traps, like I also side D Prism, yeah. you kind of like, um, well, to be fair, it's what the monster side. So the idea was like post side, hopefully, they would side like very anti. Diva Hero decks, like anti-graveyard deck, like anti-graveyard, anti-monster effects, I like oppression, the gate and stuff, and I kind of just switch into... Anti-meta. Not anti-meta, because you still have really strong cards mm -hmm. with the 1-8 Stratos, and you have the 1-9, no, uh, the Snowman Eaters, which like stop beatdown decks. And, and Miracle, right? Miracle, yeah. like you have, you have really cool ways to stop beatdown decks, so the idea was just try and stop beatdown, but I'm not entirely... It, I don't think it works. <laughs> it was like a thing in theory that I thought it would be cool, but... Yeah, I don't think it works. I think like there's not that much like back, like uh, graveyard things you can sign into Diva Hero, right? Like, yeah, I don't know. I just thought people would. Look, only reason I thought I played more traps is because no one's putting in more trap eight versus deck post yeah. side. But there's not really that many broken traps. Like you don't have floodgates to side in, so maybe. And but Dustin is just a really good card. This is to deal with the oppressions, the the D fishes or the floodgates. But that's about it. Uh, yep. All right. Now we're done with the deck profile. <laughs> uh, any shout outs? Anything? Shout out to the boss man, Barney. Boss man. For, uh, as always. As always. And and this amazing token he made. Where's the token? Oh yeah. Oh, the token. No, but yeah. no, it's inside. It's inside. Right, but right. he made this really cool metal token. Um, see it in another day. Yeah, they all don't have it. But yeah, uh, yeah, guys, that's mainly it. Um, shout out to sponsors. Oh. And yeah. oh. market. Metamats. Metamats. Brotherhood Games. Boss man. Pack mm. bless. Not games. You got a cameo. Not you got a cameo. What else is there? Not the Cop. not the flag company. Not the, not the flag. But shout out to Barney. Uh, That's it. Yeah. I'm a gladiator. And the pandas a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I should have played. <laughs>